am the creative lady. This is Napolicious TV. Look, this mirror is trying to come on over here. You ever seen one of them simply home, simply human mirrors? It's just like the automatic, you know, try to come on. Child, I love and hate it. But anywho, in today's video, I got a couple things. I got a, a quick haul and then a hair update. Okay, so I got this package in from Yes Lioness and let's get on in it. Happy Monday, y'all. It's Monday. Woo, my first day back in child. Woo, thank goodness I put on some antiperspirant, okay? Your girl was humping time she got in the dough. Lunch was at, what, 1.28? Child, anywho, let me show you what I, ooh, what I got from Yes Lioness. Oh, and I am a Yes Lioness affiliate, and if you make a purchase, I think you can still get 10% off. Um, but, you know, she had these camo skirts on her website. Not sure if they're still on there right now or not. But I ordered the pencil skirt, and I think I did a haul and a bootleg janky try on. So, I'll link that video up there. That was like not too long ago and then i saw that she had a maxi and i'm not far enough back for you to really see but she had the maxi skirt okay looky 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 i'm gonna try to stand up but i'm janky y'all right now but yeah she had the maxi and this is the waistband on it and then around my jump back there but uh <laughs> and then you see it's the long it's the maxi okay uh, so I got that. I think I got it in a small and I like, I have the, I have the pencil skirt, which is like knee length, I think, but I wanted the long one, like for boots and, you know, winter wear, you know, tights and stuff. So I have, I love camo. So anything camo got my number. Okay. But anywho, this is the maxi skirt. Thank you for that. I forgot if it's still on the website, you can go to it. Um, but then, y'all, I got a backup pair of the, I think it's Lion Leaf, Lion lion Leaf Earrings. And I got on a pair that my coworker gave me years and years and years ago. I think she got them at Africa in April. And these are, I guess you would say like those fancy bags, patinaed. See how rich the color is. And these are a little bit lighter. And I'll show you because they're mine. I almost ordered two pairs. Because I love them and I feel like I'm about to, I told y'all, wear the husk off of this one right here. But, um, this is the new pair, okay? See, these are not patina yet. The ones I got on right now, honey, they have been up against some ears, okay? Come on here, lion, act right. Yeah, so here, that's a worn pair and, you know, the back, here's a new pair. Never broken in. Look at that. Oh, y'all, I can't wait. Okay, but anyway, I've got a backup pair because I just one time I thought I had lost one of these and I was about to lose my mind. Okay, so yeah, that's my yes lioness haul. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry, I'm drunk. That's my yes lioness haul, and also. I want to give you a hair update. So today was my first day back at work, and you know I told y'all in this video from yesterday that I wet my hair because you know it had been hanging low and coming loose, and the crown was. The, I mean, ever since I started the lock journey on, I say twelve twenty one nineteen, that I've had you know struggles with the lock process. You know what I mean? I want to keep it one hundred with y'all and myself because. You know, I watch a lot of videos and people share their journeys. I like to look at their starter lock videos and then fast forward to like their current videos. And it's like, hang in there, girl. Hang in there, girl. You can do it. But you got to get there. You know, it's not like, poof, you start the starter and then it's there. I've had struggles, especially because I am doing it DIY. I feel like maybe had I been able to get to a professional to do my hair and part it correctly maybe all I would have had to do was just wait for it to you know get frizzy and go through the metamorphosis you know what I'm saying but because I've done it DIY I've had some struggles where I had to fix a crown because you know you can't really I can't really do my own hair in the back the front and side okay 
but the back was like, girl, what you doing? Who did your hair? But <laughs> so after like one, two, three tries, maybe I did the original, then I fixed the crown. Then I took them down again and did the mini. So I guess like between December 21st and now, it was like a three-try thing. And I'll be honest with you, last night I was trying to take them down, but something was like, girl, don't do it. Go, go, don't, don't do it. Don't take them down. The mailman was like, ain't it going to take you just as long to take them down? As it was to put them up. I'm like, uh-uh, I was going to unravel in the opposite direction. But thank goodness I decided to do a video and y'all said, you know, you gave me the encouragement to keep going with them. I just felt like, they were looking too stringy, along with that crown that was, like, just a bit too much, okay? It just, like, wasn't right. But I th I fixed it well enough because after I, I think I, the, my last video was that I had wet my hair. So, y'all didn't get a chance to see the end result. But what I did after I wet my hair, I was like, oh, my goodness, what am I going to have in the morning? But i'll be honest i know y'all don't 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 tell me don't say it but i did i had to put the diffuser on it just to dry it because i see people who sit underneath the hooded dryer with their locks and i've heard people say they lock their hair i mean dry their hair with their dryer you know blow dry not blow but, but you know diffuser or whatever because you're not supposed to go to bed with wet locks you know i don't want to get no mildew or whatever so i wanted my hair to be dry so i did help it along because it was kind of late you know, the Golden Globes and all of that. I had to watch Housewives of Atlanta. Okay. So, anywho, y'all. Uh, so, I did my hair and did all that to it. So, this is what I turned out with today. Okay. It, I had to pin it up. I, I took it from the center part to the side swoop. Okay. I'm, I'm going to show you the side like I had it today. today and then I'll go in. Y'all, I'm tired. Then I'll go back and show you how I normally wear my hair with the center, center part. So, let me show you the hair. This is, oh my gosh, the front. Okay, look at that. I, oh my goodness, y'all. People are like, I'll tell you what people said in a minute. Let me turn around. Okay, so this is my side. I got Charlie Brown over here. He all up in the way. Look at Chuck. Chuck in the way. Okay, so side, back. I don't know what you see, but, uh oh, let me see. Okay. See, right here. When I do wash and goes, when I was a loose natural, day one, I had, it looked like my hair was, when it was flat, it was like, oh, she got a hole in natural. But, like, day two, it was puff up, and you wouldn't even see it. But, because I got these twists in, it's like, you know, I'm waiting for the frizziness and the, you know, the filling in and new growth to populate up and through there. Okay? So, they're still hanging a little bit. Okay, uh, you know how we do. Let me see if I can grab one. I know, don't fuss at me. But see, look, shrinkage is real. But that is what I was waiting for. And here is the side. Okay, here's the side. Okay, so side, top, back, roll it around, back to the, I don't know what you see on that side, because I don't know. Put you see. Okay, so that's the 325 spin. But all day, so when I got to work, before I even got to work, y'all, let me tell you, I was like, oh, brother, you know, when you work in a, a middle school, sometimes your co-workers be worse than the children. They be like still in middle school mode, you know, but they were pretty cool. Everybody was like, oh, I like your hair. What you do to your hair? Oh, you said you were going to lock. Oh, I've been watching your videos. I'm like, oh, so, uh, but thank you y'all for that. But, um. Nobody said anything negative, and it was, you know, well received, and they were like, oh, I love your hair, and I was like, look, thank you, but when it's no longer looking like this, and it starts to get frizzy, don't be asking me, girl, what you gonna do to your head? I'm gonna let it lock, okay? That's what we gonna do, but it was bouncy, and I, I can't stop touching it, so yeah, whatever, but it, it's, it's gonna lock, because I just know, if I don't do nothing to my hair, it's gonna lock. Okay, if I, I feel like if I wanted to at this point, these could become Congo or freeform locks. I, that's not my, my thing, I don't think. I don't know. But I saw a girl, um, I don't know her name because, you know, I done watched about 8,000 hours of videos. But her hair was like the same texture as mine. If I can find her video, I will link it here, but I got to go back through. But she had like a similar 
curly hair on me. She might be a three A, four, three something and A, four bit something, three threes and fours. But her hair kind of reminded me of my hair, but her hair was bigger, of course. But um, the texture of it kind of reminded me of my hair. Um, but her hair, she did free form locks, and it's like she did like look like when she did may have been a wash and go and then she didn't do anything to it then it started to free form i was like girl look at that hair but i don't think free forming is going to be my thing but my thing is i feel like my hair will lock if i don't do anything to it but leave okay i'll leave it alone but it's just y'all look when i first went natural with loose natural hair i couldn't keep my hands out of my head so look, I'm it is. It is what it is. I and look, I might kick the bucket sometime. I don't want to kick the bucket, but you know, croak or whatever. But if I if I want to touch it, I'm gonna touch it. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna touch it, grope it, and realize. Okay, I'm on this lock journey. Okay, and I did it myself. Okay, but I was struggling, y'all. I was about to go somewhere and find somebody to fix it for me and, and put the perfect parts and stuff. I, I, you know, money was not necessarily the issue. It was just, I just felt like I could do it, you know? But yeah, so pretty much everybody that I talked to, I didn't see everybody today. But um, the people that I talked to were like, oh, even some of the kids, like, you're locking your hair. I'm like, even they know, okay? But, um, you know, when you go natural, you got to have a thick skin, whether you're a YouTuber or not. Because people are going to be like, they don't understand. And some people still into the swingy, silky, smooth, bouncy, flowy. But that's not my thing, you know. When I went natural, people thought, that was back in 2007 when I officially cut it off. You know, natural hair was just making in the mainstream, you know. People were coming back to natural. That people thought, ooh, what's going on with her? She going through something, you know, you know all types of, she changed, you know. No, it, it, it. and then you don't owe anybody any explanations. I don't feel like I'm too low. And you don't owe anybody any explanation for choices that you make about your hair, your life, your lifestyle, or anything. But sometimes, especially when you work in a small environment, or even if, if it's your family, but especially work people, for me, I was like, oh, don't let nobody say nothing crazy to me because I know this thing right here going to get me in trouble. Because I feel like people will say crazy things to you like on the fly, thinking it's funny or they're making a joke or whatever. And I'll be the first one because, honey, y'all really don't know. Some of y'all who really know me, you know me, my family, my real friends, you know, offline, they know that. This thing right here can get you all the way together. And you walk away like, dang, did she just get me together? You know? Because uh, it's be like, Psh. you know, smooth get you together, okay? And then sometimes she can come out and just, she cut them wide and she cut them deep, okay? But um, sometimes you don't know. But nobody said anything because... I'm still sometimes, like this mirror over here, a simple human, okay? I am a simple human that if you come for me, I'm coming for you, okay? So if you say something to me, depending on how I'm feeling. Now, this morning, I listened to Joe Osteen all the way to work. But I had to get a slight somebody together on something else, okay? Ooh, child, I can't even tell y'all what it was. But I had to cut them wide and cut them deep. Okay, they had it coming. They had it coming. It was something very inappropriate, out of order, reckless. Okay, reckless. And I could have, anyway, I'm not going to say it, but. Mm -hmm. So, with this particular situation, I cut them deep. And I feel like when people come at you and attack you personally, yeah, you're supposed to turn the other, well, no, you could be nice and turn the other cheek. If you're somebody like me who's always ready, you, you're going to pick your battles and you're going to know. And sometimes I pick them battles to where it's like, this ain't what you want. Now, if you want to be cut up with a prosciutto knife, you let me know. Not literally, but, you know, verbally, you know. Uh, I'll let you have it. So, sometimes people can say things like, oh, way out of line. I don't know. Sometimes people feel like they feel comfortable with you. 
don't you should never feel that comfortable with somebody that you don't even know in your workplace you know what i'm saying so i can get simple human simple human that you come for me and you attack me on da 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 i'm coming back with you with gutter okay i know i'm working on me and and she is good but when you come for me and depending on who you are and how i'm feeling that day and what's going on and i still try i, I look i temper all of this up and through here i do but when you come for me <laughs> this ain't what you want okay and i know I hurt that person's feelings. But what they think they did to me, they it wasn't about my hair. Let's, let's take that all the way out. It was null and void, not about hair, okay? Uh, and it was something that happened the last day in 2019, and it resurfaced. Anywho, this ain't what you want. But anywho, y'all, but uh, regarding my hair, nobody said anything crazy to my face about my hair. And again, I ain't seen everybody, you know what I'm saying? But um, most folks that I saw that I deal with on my work level, oh, it's so cute. I like it. And one later, now, I will tell you this. The first person that got close enough to me, she was like, oh, can I do that? Ah, now I got to go wash my hair again. I told her I don't like people touching my hair. And she caught herself. She's like, oh, yeah, I done touched your hair. Yes, you have. And I feel like I am that person that don't touch my hair. Because I am, I'm told y'all, if you're new here, I am somewhat of a germaphobe. I don't like people touching me if I don't feel like that. You know what I'm saying? If, if I don't like to be touched. I don't like to be pulled and tugged and touching my hair. Oh, my goodness. And I, I feel like people, because I've seen people. Okay, let me, let me say this. And then I'll preface it with, with this and then I'll go back to the hair. Because... I, I'm feeling extra chitty chattery because I had a Red Bull and a Coca-Cola and a late lunch and I was working like a crazy person and thank goodness I had on some strong deodorant because if I had a hat on some of this stuff over here, y'all, what's this? I can't find it. But if I had a hat on some of that natural deodorant, child, it would not have been a secret today. <laughs> but thank goodness I reached for that antiperspirant. <laughs> Because I just had a feeling, y'all. But I didn't think it was going to be like that. I mean, time I bust up in the door. But anywho. From the, the time I hit the door to 1.30 when I finally got a chance to eat. Yeah. I mean, manual labor, okay? Oh, sweating. And I had this hot sweater. Oh, anyway. Um, but yeah. I'm sorry. Where was I going? Five, four, three, two. I don't know. Oh, yeah. So, people who know me know that I do not, and I amaze people. You know how you have those doorknobs that are made, you know, with the little handle like this? You know, not the twist knob kind, but, you know, the. Well, I open the doorknob with my elbow. I grab it. I push it down with my elbow, pull it, kick it back with my feet, and then I get in. I mean, I don't touch door handles I, I, unless I got, like, a paper towel or a tissue or something. Because I've seen people, two things. Hopefully you don't have a weak stomach because I have a weak stomach, but I'm just going to tell you. I've seen people doing gross things with their hands, okay? Digging and scratching and rubbing and then want to, uh-uh, where your hand being? So when you touch a doorknob, oh my gosh, do you not know what's on them handles? And, and I tell my kids all the time, they're rubbing the wall and stuff and touching. I'm like, look. And people ask me, and I, I'll be honest, when people ask me, and this is the gross part, when people have the nerve to come to ask me, why you, why you open the door like that, you know, with your elbow? Why you open the door like that? Why you open the door? I'm like, look, until you come across one of them crusty boogers on the door that's left over, you'll understand, okay? I'm sorry. If you're eating, I'm sorry. I apologize. But, you know, but yeah, I'm a weirdo. And I love it. I stay weird. It keeps my creativity sharp and popping. Because over the what, over the break, I guess my principal must have been thinking about things for me to do the day I got back to work. Y'all, I had to do, what you call this thing? It's some kind of board. I had never heard of it. A, a scrum board. I mean, some of y'all might know, but I ain't never heard. It's S-C-R-U-M. -S I had to Google it. I had to Google it. And he going to tell me to Google it. 
So I had to Google it. I'm like, basically it's like a task board, okay? But I ain't never heard of it called no scrum board. You know what I'm saying? So I had to do, child, I had to get painter's tape and, I'm lucky I ain't must it. I'm telling you, y'all, I was manual laboring today. Okay? So that's why I can't be cute with my little... Th and I didn't even have on no chucks today, y'all. I call myself going to put on some real shoes. Come on, auntie, check me over the Christmas break. Do you even have any real shoes? Yes, lady, I do have real shoes. So I had on a pair of real shoes today, but they were real flat. And that's why I have to wear chucks because... I, ne I I choose to wear chucks because I don't know what my day is going to be. I mean, it's crazy. But anywho, y'all, that's it. I, I, enough rambling. But I will say this. Thank y'all for all of the encouragement and the support because <clears throat> this journey is something brand new, y'all. Pardon me. Let me get me some water. Hold on. I'm, I'm sorry. I hate when people do this. But... Woo! About to get a little parched. But thank you for the encouragement and the motivation to tell me, you know, what I popped on yesterday, y'all. I promise you, y'all saved me and my hair because I was about to take them down. I was so frustrated and irritated, but I think it was because the hair was still hanging low and it was kind of stringy because I did, like I said, I had blow dried it. So it was like hanging low. Yeah, if I wanted to do like a protective style, that would have been okay, okay. But I'm trying to lock, so I knew it was hanging too low. I needed my hair to shrink up. So when I dipped it last night and when it dried, okay. Oh, yes, I've been showing y'all the without the center part. So, you know, my my style is with the center part. But I it was looking a little wonky, um, you know, flat. So I, I swooped it over, you know, on itself with the center part, with the side part. So... Yeah, so anyway, maybe tomorrow. See, I, I'm, I know it's going to go through some changes, y'all. I know what I'm waiting. I'm waiting for like two weeks from now. I'm looking forward for two weeks from now when it starts to frizz up and fill out. And, you know, now I know I don't, I'm not into the tangly. When it gets tangly at the roots, you know, when it starts marrying, I don't want that. So I, I think I'm going to have to pop them before they get to be, because I don't want, you know, a Congo or free-forming locks to where it's, you know, matted together and I'm really breaking them apart. Like, I don't want to do that. So if it means that I got to brush my hair through there to separate them like that, I don't want them sticking together. I mean, that might be a thing, but I don't think that's going to be the thing I'm going to go for. So I don't have to keep popping them. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not sorry, but that's what I'm going to do. And if it turns out to be the wrong idea, child, you know, I cut this mess off and start over. It's just hair for me. It don't matter because Adam had short, short hair, about that much hair, just enough to curl up. So, I, child, please. It's only hair. For me, it's just hair. And if I had to cut it off, I would do it because I, I didn't want to cut it off at the time. But, oh, one more thing, y'all. I'm going to be through in a few minutes. So, the reason I know my hair will lock because... When I was transitioning, no, I wasn't transitioning. No, 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 no. I had a uh, quick story time. I was about to go. I got my hair. Mm, sorry. I had got my hair braided up in the African braid shop in like for Thanksgiving one year. I think Thanksgiving 2003. So we were going to go on a seven day cruise uh, to the Caribbean in for spring break, you know. So that was like November, December, January. February, March, four months. And so when I got ready to go on my cruise, I was like, wait, I need to go take my hair down and get it rebraided so it would be fresh. So I was like, look, that, you know, big stack of money that's going to cost like $200 at the time to get my hair braided. So I was like, mm, no, I think I'm going to take that on the vacation. So I'm not going to do my hair. I was just, you know, just go with it, you know, wear some headbands or whatever. Because it really wasn't looking too bad, the edges. But, you know, it wasn't even that bad. So, went on the vacation, came back like mid-March. And, now mind you, November, December, January, March, like three and a half, four months, right? So, went on the vacation, came back, tried to take my hair down. And long on the short, it started to lock up. Well, at the time, I wasn't trying to lock and didn't even think about locking and matting and all of that. And I had been washing my hair, but you know. 
So I know my hair will lock because I, that's how I ended up cutting my hair off one of the second or third times in my whole life at that time. Cutting my hair off because it wouldn't detangle all the way I was trying to do it. It was taking too long to take down. It was like, look, the you know, the guy I was dating at the time, I'm like, look, cut it off. I felt like Bernadine and waiting to exhale. Either you going to cut it off or I'm going to cut it off. Either your mama going to, and your mama ain't going to get me. Well, she going to get somebody, but... I cut it off in wore wigs. But anyway, I think I told that story somewhere before. But I know my hair will lock, okay? Y'all, I be all over the place. So, thank you. I hope this was entertaining for somebody. But anywho, y'all, um, back here, this Fenty, it's old stuff. But I never did tell y'all. So, it's confession hour for me. In 2020, I'm being a little more transparent. When I ordered the Fenty Beauty um, trophy wife life collection i had ordered two by accident okay i'm like what is two things come oh child i was like i was about to, i was gonna send it back but i remember my bff was having a birthday and she likes fenty and i'm like okay bff i will share that's my local bff i'm like okay girl i'll share it's still sitting over there we were supposed to have gotten together in December, we meet like every once a month or so uh, for lunch on Saturdays. Um, but at the time, it was kind of up in the air about my other BFF. And so it was just not a good time for us to meet in December. So uh, I'm still waiting. <laughs> I'm still waiting, y'all, to give her her stuff. Look, it's still in the box, y'all. She's so janky. She janky. And she know because I told her. So, it was still in the plastic. But I already told her. Okay, y'all. Here's the janky, janky, janky part. Here's what's inside. Okay, you get the trophy wife life, trophy wife um highlighter. And you get the lip gloss. And you get the um eyeliner. And then you get like um, a, a lipstick. All of the trophy wife colors and shades, you know. I already told her. Okay, look. Best that is two of them that I ordered by accident. And you get I'm gonna give her the bag, okay? I'm gonna give her the trophy wife uh highlighter. But I told her I want that gloss bomb. Oh she oh, she ain't getting that. I want the gloss bomb. Uh and, and I don't think she wear eyeliner, so <laughs> she get the bag. She get the bag okay, look, she gets the bag. Don't look. She wasn't going to get nothing, not from Trophy Wife or... Anyway, so she going to get the... Y'all, she going to get... She going to split it, okay? It's like the bag, one, two, three, four, five. It's like she gets three and a half things. I mean, something. All, all, all I want is these two things. So she'll get one, two... She get three things. We've been friends for 30 years, so... One thing for her for each 10 years. We've not look all the decades. We're the brand new. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Okay. I still got everything for now, so. Anywho, y'all, then there's other stuff from y'all. These are like boxes, you know, when I did haul. So I, I think I put everything away, but these venti, venti boxes are just the box. Okay, who child? Okay, anywho, thank y'all for watching. Subscribe to my channel, smash the notification bell, join me on that delicious TV. Oh, and I think what I'm gonna do, because I be having so many things going on, 30 minutes, that's why not. Um, I be, um, I be, y'all look, whatever. Um, if like my updates, I don't want to bombard y'all on YouTube because I feel like what I want to do for myself is like have is frequent throughout the week. Y'all, I forgot to turn off the notification. But, anyway, I, I want to do, like, frequent videos. I remember when Maya, what's her name? Shameless Maya was vlogging every day. And I ain't trying to do all that. But if I have, like, a something that happens or something pertinent every day or whatever day, I want to pop on and share. But it's not going to be directly onto YouTube. I think I, for 2020, I am going to, and for myself and for, you know, in perpetuity, I learned that from my Shark Tank, y'all. I mean, forever and ever, amen. Okay, but um, I want to have, I want to document my lock journey, the good, the bad, the ugly, 
you know, not the ugly, but, you know, I think it's all beautiful. But you know what I'm saying. The, the struggle. Okay. And I'm going to do a segment on my nappylicious.com site. Don't go there now because, you know, I've got old stuff over there. But I'm <laughs> my goal is from this day on to go ahead and put all of my lock journey, especially over there. Because I've got a lot of my loose natural hair stuff over there and makeup stuff or whatever. But I want to document my lock journey there and... Um, just have, like, we try to get the blog thing. I like to write, y'all. I don't know if you know that or not. Y'all, you can't know that. But I like to write, but it may be more videos initially with a little blurb underneath there, you know, just to make it relevant. But, um, but yeah, I think I'm going to do videos, video logs, you know what I'm saying? Video, video logs, vlogs, but not, like, follow me around town like brand of gears and i ain't going nowhere but it'll be just my video journey or my video diary of my lock journey i mean yeah so that's what i'm gonna do so if you want you know check me out at nappalicious.com but you know eventually but i'll always from this point on have monthly updates here on youtube but anything that happens in between those times, I'm going to put them over there. So, it may be frequent updates. Like, it may be twice a week, every day. I don't know. It just depends on what is going on with this hair because I want to document it and, and share my journey that, um, you know, whatever happens. So, I have a name for the series already. Don't want to share it yet, but it'll be over there. So, it'll be at the end of the video, nappylicious.com. I mean, it'll be down in the... Descript top of the description box as well. Anyway, y'all, let me get out of here. But I thank y'all for watching. And um, may your hearts be filled with purple joy. Thanks again for the encouragement, the love, and support.